I am going to discuss what how to write program to find largest prime factor of a number in sysop.net. So this code that I already written to save some times and here I am using the method user created or user defined method the name is largest prime factor and here 26. So you can pass any number to this place 26 I have given because so here 26 that can be divisible by 2 then after so here after that this is uh, divisible by 13 8 not uh, 7 not uh, or 2 then 4 also not so this is your largest prime factor of uh, this 26 that display 13 now if I run this code or uh, then you can see here the output is now 20 or uh, 13 is so display so the next uh, I'm going to discuss about the, the way of execution of this program what the steps of execution of this code so when you debug the code control comes to main method thereafter that go inside so here console dot write line so console cross write line method is used to print something but inside there here you can see there is the method largest prime factor okay so this is the method then compiler start searching where is the largest prime factor in this code so then that font there so control comes to this point so here there is so one parameter the value is 26 so in receive here 26 so now we can write here in value is now 26 after that that go inside there i value start from 2 so 2 then after there while i not equal to n so i value is 2 not equal to n value is now 26 obviously condition is true then if the condition is true then that go inside so there n mod i so i here 26 the value of n is now 26 mod 2 so obviously the value that come this 0 remainder come 0 0 equal to 0 that's true so if this condition is true so this that go inside n equal to n by i so n value is now 26 n equal to n by i so n value is now 26 by 2 so it divide by 13 times so n value is now here 13 so this is 13 now if a statement true so this will not execute the as part now from here loop continue on so this time so here i i value is 2 now and this is here 2 not equal to and uh, n value is now 13 13 is there so obviously this condition is true so when that true if n mod i so n value this time 13 mod and i value is now 2 so if you divide remainder come here 1 so this times remainder come so 1 double equal to 0 so this condition is not true uh, here n value is now 13 13 mod 2 that come 1 1 double equal to 0 this condition is not true so else part that executed else here i increase so i is now 3 then after loop that continue from here loop continue so that is now i value so this times i value is now 3 and n value is now 13 3 not equal to 13 this condition is true so when that true then that go inside so here if n mod i so 13 mod 3 so the divide by 4 times remainder come 1 1 not equal to 0 condition is true i value increase so if uh, here this condition is false here so else a statement then i value will increase so this is now 4 then after 4 not equal to 13 that is true so when that true so here 
this terms n value is now or uh, that is n value is 13 divided by 4 remainder come 1 1 double equal to 0 that is not true so again that uh, not go to f part else increase so else here i value is now 5 next is here 13 not equal to 5 condition is true then that go inside 5 by 13 so it divide by 2 times remainder come 3 3 double equal to 0 false so uh, else part increase so sorry else part execute there i value increase so i is now 6 then after here 13 6 both are not equal again the same process is continue so this continue till 8 9 10 when 11 12 and when i value become 13 so 13 not equal to 13 so this condition here false so when or uh, third uh, uh, i value is now 13 so 13 not equal to 13 so while loop condition is false so this here that comes to this point so this point there n value returned so n value is now 13 is there so 13 that returned so here 13 return after that uh, this point there is now this uh, function that return 13 so here console dot right line so this place this print here 13 and console dot read line this take input from the keyboard and terminate the main method so this is how that code that works so this times there i have taken uh, 26 you can take any other numbers so suppose if i take here 6 so i'm going to just remove this so this times here only 6 that i'm going to take okay so when you debug the code control comes to main method here console dot right line the compiler comes to this point so right line method so now here largest in prime factor then control comes to this point this compiler starts searching where is the method so that found here this times n value is now i have uh, taken 6 then after that coincide i value is now here 2 then uh, i 2 not equal to 6 condition is here true so that go inside so n mod i so n value is now 6 mod 2 or oh, that is equal to 0 obviously it divide remainder return 0 0 equal to 0 condition is true here so this condition is true then that go inside so n equal to n by i so n equal to n divide by i so n value is now 6 divide by 2 so you divide by 3 times so n value is now 3 that comes so this is your 3 then after if a statement executed so as part does not compiler does not come there or go there then after i not equal to n so this times n value here 3 is there so 2 not equal to 3 this condition is true so when that true then that go inside so here n value is now 3 and thereafter mod operator i value is now 2 so uh, this value written on 1 1 double equal to 0 condition is false so that else part executed so else part i value increased so this is now 3 then after here control comes to this point then loop continue so this times i and n so both here 3 not equal to 3 so this condition is false this times so 3 here both has the same value so this condition is false so when that false then while loop terminate then control comes to this point return n so n value is now 3 that return so this here 3 that comes so this so uh, method that return here 3 so that control comes to this point there this method since returning 3 so here that display console dot write n so this display here 3 after that this is so uh, take the input from keyword and terminate the output screen so this was this is how the code that works and this is how the this is the best way we can here do the dry run method of this code to find the largest uh, prime factor using csr.net so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you